I like to think that students who elect to take this class have a sincere interest in health care. Um, if students participate fully, both as an individual and as a group member, they can leave having their um, health career goals and college selection um, very much confirmed or refined, or they can decide that maybe this isn't the path they want to follow, which is equally as important. Students can leave much better prepared to enter the um, healthcare workplace um, as in an entry-level position and can certainly set themselves apart from those that are less polished. A student who really utilizes what this class has to offer, and that takes some individual initiative. There are so many opportunities for career and college exploration, and if students don't take advantage of all of that, then they're really losing out. When a student successfully completes the core curriculum, which would include both knowledge and skills, um, then we can arrange a number of activities to help them um, explore their own individual interests in healthcare. So, job shadowing, we do a lot of community service activities, we do a lot of college visits, um, fine-tuning employment readiness skills, and then um, probably the most significant is the opportunity the last trimester of their senior year to take the skills that they've learned, knowledge and skills, and take them to the healthcare work site that employs professionals they hope to become following graduation. And they work shoulder to shoulder with those professionals, they have enough entry level skills to be useful, and it really gives them the opportunity to inform their career decisions when they leave. Um, they get a couple of evaluations from that work site and um, often secure a job or a recommendation for college. All the students will leave with um, having earned certification in health, CPR at the healthcare level, the professional healthcare level, and first aid. And then one choice, and it's just a choice, but I'd say about 75% uh, of the students choose this, is they can pursue senior year certification in phlebotomy, which is the entry level job in the lab. The only job in the lab, or the only occupation in the lab that actually sees patients. And they, we partner with Sparrow Regional Labs and St. Joe Health System through Chelsea Community Hospital to offer students the opportunity to take their phlebotomy skills to the work site and complete 100 successful draws. And then they come back and study for a national online certification exam. They really vary. Um, Students can um, job shadow and do what's called a work-based learning experience in nursing settings, physical therapy. At Sparrow, we've placed students in the radiology and sonography departments, pharmacy, vet services, um, emergency medical services. They can do ambulance ride-alongs. They can work in a dental setting. We had a student this year who spent some time with the MSU athletic trainers and then the East Lansing athletic trainer who is contracted through Sparrow Hospital. Speech and language pathologists, um, the core skills that students learn really are medical assisting skills, so these transfer to a wide variety of work sites. You know, it would be difficult to name all the difference. Many of them are affiliated with the major health systems like Sparrow or St. Joe's, but then there are many smaller practitioners too that we place students at, depending again on their level of interest. They will uh, know medical terminology, which is essential. They'll know how to protect themselves from bloodborne pathogens. They will know about medical ethics and the legal and ethical issues that are expected in medicine. They'll know how to conduct themselves professionally in a healthcare setting. Um, they'll have good communication skills. They'll have um, done some basic exploration of anatomy and physiology and they will learn a core of skills, again, both administrative and clinical, that would be transferable to any outpatient setting. I've had quite a few who've been hired as phlebotomists. Some of those see that as an occupation they might pursue for some time. Others see that as a high paying job with a lot of patient exposure to support their ongoing um, college exploration. 
I've had students who graduated as nurses. I've had students who work in physical therapy and have graduated as professionals there. The imaging services, I have students who are sonographers and x-ray techs. I have students who work in pharmacy. Sometimes students choose me who are interested in animal care, who work in vet settings. I have students who've become paramedics as um, working in emergency medical services. I have students who just completed, a, a student who just completed a dental hygiene program. My student this year that I mentioned in athletic training intends to go to Western to pursue an athletic training degree there. I have a student who just finished her master's in speech and language pathology with, um, through Eastern University and just gotten her first job. And a number of students who've gone on to become medical assistants. So it really is quite varied. And in talking to these students after they leave, many of them reflect on their experiences here as having informed their career decisions significantly. And additionally, most health career programs um, require a secondary application process at the college level and many times going to a program like this or having an entry level um, job will give them additional points because all these careers have become quite competitive. You have to like people and we work very hard on developing good communication skills. Um, I can't think of a site or an occupation that students pursue from this career that doesn't involve um, communicating well with patients and enjoying them.